Hey family, as you guys know, it is now the holiday season. Like we are in full effect. Thanksgiving just passed not too long ago. We are already deep into December. Okay, maybe not deep. This is the first week, but still we in December, right? So I wanted to come to you guys and tell you some of the things that you can do during the holiday season. A lot of these things could be family or date night ideas. So keep those things in mind, date night ideas, as well as family night ideas as well. All of these are, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. All no, they're not. Okay. So I was going to say that all of them are outside of the house, but they are not. But I do have 10 things that I felt that were really interesting. Some of the things I'm actually going to imp implement into my own household because I thought that they were just fun to do. Or, and some of the things I just haven't done in a while. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give you 10 things that maybe you thought about, maybe you have not. But if you have tried any of these things or are going to try them specifically because I mentioned them here, then let me know down in the comment section below that you are actually going to implement or try this thing out make it a date night or a family thing that you're going to do this can be even done if you feel lonely right because you never know who you're going to meet when you get out there right and i'm not saying specifically just for dating or marriage i am talking about just to have a fuller life to um, create your circle of people that you truly want to be around during not just this time but just every part of the year so without further ado one of the things that I really want to do, haven't done this in quite some time, but now that my daughter is three, she's getting older, she's understanding a lot more, I want to take her to see a tree lighting ceremony. So that's one of the things that I definitely want to take my daughter to see. I would love to make it a family um, thing, but sometimes my husband, just the way his work set up, sometimes it just be me and my baby and whatever, that's the way life is in this season. So, but um attending a tree lighting ceremony will be great. Another thing is to go to a local festival, like the festival of trees or the parade of lights, depending on where you are in the country, or even if you're out of the country, I'm sure they have some type of these things out there festivals or just getting outside where it's a bit chilly. They might have hot cocoa festivals or something like that. Tree, that. tree lighting ceremonies, as I just mentioned, parades of some sort. Just put yourself out there. Go out there, have a good time so you're not feeling sad or lonely or, you know, putting yourself all in your head during this season. Right, so definitely go to a local festival of some kind. I'm sure that they have them out there, even beer festivals, like they, they have something for you out there. If you look, if you look, Another thing is to make an ornament. A homemade ornament doesn't have to be all fancy and look like anything. Um, I would get up and find the ornament <laughs> that me and my baby made last winter that we're actually going to hang on the tree this, but... I know I'm going to have to dig for it. I wish I would have thought about it before I actually started recording. But y'all know lately I have not been editing. So I'm not even going to do that to y'all because I'm not going to edit out the time that I'm <laughs> trying to find it. So moving on. But, oh, wait, before I move on, let me say that it was actually, it is, not was, it is a dragon. Like, the, they, like we went to a festival last year, and they had cutouts of dragons, and then we had a chance to um, color them in, and I put 2018 or something like that on it. So, again, it'll be on the tree this year. So, it's just something fun to do where now you have a homemade ornament. Now, do you have to go to a festival to do that? No, you don't. You can do it at home. This can be a family activity, a way that you bond with your family, and then each year, this can be like a tradition, a new tradition that you bring into your family, um, creating with your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, especially if you have this idea that they're going to be around longer than one year, then create ornaments. And maybe if you don't know, you can actually just put, you know, name your ornament with your name, keep your name and then his name or vice versa, whatever, get the picture. My point is, this could be something that could be fun to do. Just bring out the, you know, the, 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 um, the colored paper, cut out some stuff and put out the sparkles, the glue and all, everything to make it look really fun and really nice and something that you can keep like a keepsake to pass on down the line okay so make an ornament the fourth thing to do is to create homemade christmas cards just now i'm not a cards person but i know that people like to do homemade stuff and there are a lot of people out there that like to give cards and people that like to receive them i am neither like you don't waste your money on a card on me because more than likely it's gonna end up in the trash no shade i'm just saying i'm not a cards person i don't keep them like one of my sisters she actually collects every one of the cards she keeps it for the year and then when it's time for this holiday season if you go over her house she actually has those cards displayed throughout the years that she's collected so now she's a collector of cards i am not 
you, you won't ever see that in my place. I'm just saying that this is an activity for those who actually like to do things like this. This could be something that could be fun. So create your own homemade Christmas cards to hand out to whomever is on your list, okay? Another thing I plan on doing with the family actually is going to see the Nutcracker Ballet, but I don't want to just do the uh, the original. I've been to the original several times, but they, act, they actually have a Russian ballet out here in California, and that is the one that I want to take my family to because I've seen it. I love it. It's very, very colorful. I mean, the, the, the other one is too, but I'm just a person with really, really bright greens and bright reds and bright yellows and bright oranges. I love all of those cover colors. They capture my attention. They hold my attention. And of course, they're doing ballet. They do. It's the same thing. It's just the Russian ballet. Anyway, I just like that. I prefer that one better. So um, that'll be the one that I take my family to this year. We won't just do the regular one. Anywho, okay, so that's number six. The number seven. So I know that some of you guys probably already had up your tree, but maybe you didn't think about this. So instead of having lights or in addition to your lights to create a popcorn garland where you actually pop a bag of popcorn or, you know, old school, put it on the stove with the kernels and let them pop and then have your um needle and thread, right? A really long one, needle and thread, and then just like, <laughs> thread the popcorn through so obviously there's the popcorn up here now obviously y'all make me leaving with you be with me but can, but you can see it though right so this the popcorn up here this the needle <laughs> with the needle and now I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm pulling the popcorn down the, the down the thread so you know popcorn needle thread popcorn needle thread anyway I, I haven't done that one in such a long time so i'm probably going to incorporate that one in my um family tradition, routine, whatever from now on because it was very fun. And again, it is a family thing and you don't have to leave your house to do this one. Again, this could be your lights, but most people do it in addition to their lights. Again, it's just a fun thing to do, a family oriented thing. It could be a tradition. Again, that'll probably be something that I incorporate into my family um, structure during the holiday season from now on. Okay. Um, number eight is to build a gingerbread house. Me and my baby, when she was two, we went to a gingerbread building house party last year. And although, it was, <laughs> so I'm about to knock them, even though I put them on the list. So even though it was a very fun and it was parents there, children there, and we did our own thing, right? And we built these houses. It sucked. Like, <laughs> And maybe we got the bad kits. I don't know. But these these houses would not stay together. They were not cut well. Oh, it, the entire pod project as far as building the house just totally sucked. And again, we could have gotten the wrong kits. It sucked in the sense that the houses would not stay together. The stuff kept falling off of them. And again, it could have just been the kits and the kits sucked. However... It was very fun for the parents to get together. Of course, we had our wine and drinks there and the children were able to eat and, uh, you know, play amongst one another. So that bonding portion and building of the community was great, but the actual gingerbread house itself, uh -uh. nah. So if somebody has a kit out there that you know that actually works and stays together, please let me know because I would actually like to do it again, but I'm kind of skeptical because of the way that it played out last year. I mean, it totally sucked. The None of us took home a house that was actually built. And then if you did, if I think one or two people left with the house built, but it didn't last. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that, that kit was horrible. And I don't even know the name of it. It, it was just horrible. So number nine. Number nine is to go ice skating. Again, this could be a date night date. Of course, dress warm because it's ice, so of course it's going to be cold. But um, if you haven't done this or if you've never tried this, this is so fun to do. Y'all falling on y'all butts, y'all laughing, y'all creating memories. We used to do this as children like every winter. Every winter this was something to do. Could we skate good? No, but we could stay up on the skates. At the end, I know that we were doing it wrong because our ankles was horrible, horribly hurting, you know, th throbbing and everything. But but it was fun. We would, you know, pull each other, pull each other down. My, did my mom ever get on them? I want to say she did, but didn't last long, right? Because she was falling, blah, blah, blah. But um, <laughs> it's just a fun thing to do. And I, I did it when I was dating. So I know that this is really a good thing to do, whether you guys, you know, 
or in love or not doesn't matter just go and have fun with this one go ice skating this one i definitely highly recommend because you will have a lot of memories whether you stay with the person or not married or not engaged or not whatever whatever stage that you're in this will be a great date idea and it's cheap usually and then it has hot cocoa there blah 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 depending on where you go but it's still it usually is cold because again this is ice so if you never tried it go and try it just know that your ankles are going to be sore especially if you don't go early enough where they give you like tips and tidbits lessons or whatever but just go and have fun either way it's no big deal and then the last thing <laughs> if you are around snow like you obviously have to be around snow to do this particular one which is just literally to go outside so for my midwesterners those in new york right east coast go outside and have a snowball fight Maybe you have never done that or maybe you haven't done it since you were a child because life just got in the way and now life is just so serious. Listen, if you have a family, if you have a spouse, tell them that we about to go outside and do something fun. Obviously, make sure they are dressed warm and then y'all go out there and have a snowball fight and just make this a new tradition or just something where you know that this particular time, this day, okay, oh man, it's about to snow. We're about to do that. As a bonus, I'm going to add this one in here. So my bonus or point number 11 is to go um, snow sledding. Oh my God, we used to do that all the time when I was a child. We had this big hill where we lived. It was in the, it was in a park and we had this big hill that was in the park. So we walked down the street and everybody that lived in that neighborhood, anytime it was winter, um, we would go and go ice sledding down this tangle. Um, I'm saying ice sledding, but snowboard. Well, not snowboard. What the hell is it? No. Okay. So here you go. If I'm if I'm saying the wrong word, <laughs> you where you get your cardboard box or your sled. And you going down the hill. Now, how about that? Now, if you was um, middle, mid, if you was um, lightweight poor like we was, or it actually wasn't even that, but we were lightweight poor. But that's not what I'm saying. That I'm saying that because it wasn't that. We found that the car cardboard boxes actually would go a lot faster than the people that brought the sleigh. <laughs> so the cardboard, a huge cardboard box, and go out there go down that hill just just know you about to be cold just know that you probably gonna fall at the end or flip but go have fun when you get down there do a snow angel okay but go have fun in the snow y'all have a great time and if there's something that you have made a tradition that you would like to let me know or something that maybe you think i would experience that i would like to experience please put it down in the comment section below because again as you guys know i love to read your comments and i love to continue the conversation so do these things which one are you going to try this season or two or three or four? Which ones stood out to you? Which ones are you going to try? Which ones have you done? Which ones are a tradition for you? Just let me know down in the comment section below. I'm your favorite life and relationship. <laughs> there it is right there. Talking too fast. I am your favorite life and relationship strategist, Marshawn Olanio, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Two finger salute, y'all.